course, next Wednesday is Piano Day. It's the 88th day of the year. We're at the Lindenblad School of Music, but the other side of the Lindenblad musical family is all about restoring beautiful instruments. Your family's been in the piano restoration business for over a hundred years. I know this is a hard question, but how many pianos do you think you've refurbished? Probably somewhere around 5,000. How many pianos do you have in the shop at any given time? Uh, currently, we have about 500 pianos. How many people work on any individual piano? Uh, 25 employees. How many employees total? Uh, 35 in the company. These are good jobs, aren't they? Absolutely. These are people that are craftsmen. Uh, they really put their heart and soul into this. Yes, there are 35 employees, but you don't have to look far to find another Linda Blad. You are John, right? Yes. What generation? Fourth. Who taught you how to do this? My father, Eric Linda Blad. Who taught him? My grandfather, Edward Linda Blad. You are what generation? The fourth generation of Linda Blad to work on pianos. This is literally where the action is. When you talk about action on a piano, it's the action of a hammer hitting a string. And Eric, you've been doing this for how many years? 45 years. When this thing is done, you cannot compare the sound to what something that's made today. The musicians know that these pianos are far superior than what's made today. This is the oldest piano that they're currently working on. This was built in 1872. Going to be about $60,000 to refurbish this instrument, but with the current technology and skill set they apply, it will probably sound better now than it did in 1872. Why is it important for young people like yourself to go into the craft and art of saving these pianos? For me, I just feel really lucky that I was able to find this and come in every day and work just to try and get better at the craft. Because we're taking pianos that have been people's families for generations that are old, decrepit, they don't work, and we're able to take them in here, completely restore them, and make them play and sound exactly the way they did when they were first built. Perfectly matching the color and then getting the perfect finish on a refurbished grand piano can be $20,000. And that's where Mohammed comes in. You come in from Queens every day? Yeah. You get up every day and go to a job you love? Correct. What I love about my job is definitely the people I work for, but also the instrument that we refinish and um, the history behind what we do, the company, and the instrument itself. A brand new gorgeous instrument like this would be about $150,000. This fully restored two-tone number can be yours for only 75, but this one's already been sold. It's going to a penthouse in Miami. Oh, and the cool thing is they've turned it into a, a player piano. Even though technology has changed, you have keyboards, but there's still a huge demand for people wanting something that's real, that's mechanical, that the strings are vibrating, that no stereo and no um, keyboard can produce. That was uh, Todd uh, Lindenblad, that's uh, John, Eric, um, uh, uh, Peter, all the, the generations that have worked together. And again, just like that, some of the other team members have got this loaded up. Come on in, Alex, you can just take it. We don't want to hold you up. He's going to be moving this piano. And it's not just the big grand pianos. Um, uh, they refurbish the smaller pianos, and they're happy to uh, talk to you, and that's why we've linked all of their stuff. But the most affordable piano they have is a free free one will tell you about an opportunity you may have to uh, yeah go ahead and stink by me to uh, pick that up uh, next week but uh, right now I'll get out of the way or I, literally I'd be run over by a piano uh, we'll uh, send things uh, right now back to you guys in the studio you know what was interesting John uh, like maybe a year or two ago I did a story at the Steinway factory where they make the pianos in Queens and they said they actually did better than they expected during the COVID pandemic because people mm. wanted to invest in some they were all home and they wanted to invest in something like a piano they would have for gener you know potentially generations that's so. exactly what Todd said he was getting calls from families they wanted to restore a family heirloom and they wanted to make music in their home again well I love how Great. much all of those guys love their work yeah it's cool to see sure. uh, John Thanks, thank John. you uh,